The Allen Temple family welcomed 2022, determined to live out our annual church theme, strengthening our connections to God, each other, and the world. While the COVID-19 pandemic continued, we saw in God exciting possibilities and hope. We continued in our tradition of uplifting, educating, and strengthening the whole person to the glory of God. We placed worship and study first, coming together each Sunday to give great praise to God and strengthen our spirit at in-person worship and Sunday school by phone, Zoom, and Sunday School Live online, where over 400 persons in America and nine countries faithfully join our Sunday School classes each week for a deeper understanding of God's Word. We resumed baptism and in-person communion distribution to the sick and shut-in. We began the year with all church prayer and our leadership seminar with Reverend Dr. Leslie Braxton. We studied and discussed God's Word and current events at Theological Thursdays. Over 200 persons engaged in deeper scholarship at our Center for Biblical and Family Studies. Our Prayer Warriors ministry led us through our 21-day prayer challenge, Summer of Seeking, and our Power Up Your Prayer Life seminar. We observed the liturgical calendar through Lenten and Advent reflections and studies guided by our pastor. We celebrated 103 years of unbroken ministry with one of our own as our anniversary Sunday preacher, Pastor Isai Hurtado of Iglesia Identidad. We also enjoyed a festive anniversary brunch. Our Wednesday prayer call provided opportunities for reflection, petitions to our God, and praise for all He has done. Our church and her ministries engaged in times of fellowship and service. Our children's and youth ministries Easter egg hunt, harvest night, beach party, and pizza with the pastor. Our boy and girl scouts continued in their tradition of providing young people with spaces to grow and serve. And we witnessed one of our own, young brother Naranti Gray, elevated to Eagle Scout. Our Women's Mission Society continued to share in study and fellowship, as well as their 69th annual International Tea. Our health education ministry showed us how to take better care of our bodies at our virtual health fair and COVID and mental health seminars. Our ushers, nurses, first responders, and welcome ministries celebrated their 78th annual day. Our music ministry continued to show excellence in every worship experience, ending the year with a jazzy New Year's Eve. We continued to serve our community here in Oakland and across the country. Our commodities food distribution program served 4,800 of our neighbors through 100 bags per month, each feeding a family of four. Our food pantry ministry gave 7,000 bags, as well as special Thanksgiving baskets to 300 families. We shared in our annual partnership with the Oakland Black Firefighters, distributing 1,100 holiday food baskets. The total person served in 2022 was 38,400. Our homeless ministry and face mask crew ensured that our unhoused neighbors in East and West Oakland received food, toiletries, personal protective equipment, backpacks, and the love of Christ. Thank you again. My birthday is Friday. I'll be 71 years old. They always do the work. They always here. Always been good food. Good nice bags. All the time. All the time. Love you. God bless. God bless you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. We raised over $10,000 for the Mississippi water crisis. Our holiday gift card drive helped our neighbors have Christmas presents and cheer. We ensured that those who are sick, bereaved, and in need of prayer partnership were touched. In 2022, we made 1,092 calls, 60 in-person visits, and sent 612 cards. Our public ministry engaged us with the pressing issues of our times through town hall meetings, including reparations, housing, and a candidate forum. Secretary of State Shirley Weber visited with us to encourage us to get out the vote. Our global ministries shared the love of Christ in action by providing support to the people of Haiti, where we assisted with housing reservations. We gave HIV medications and vitamins to the people of Zimbabwe in partnership with Mother of Peace. We welcomed our friend in ministry, the Reverend Dr. Alan Buzak, 
to share with us on Black Liberation Theology. We continued in the fight against COVID, providing access to 4,000 vaccinations in partnership with Alameda County and drive through testing in partnership with CORE. We gave great praise to our God for our Pastor Emeritus on his 91st birthday and for the naming of an endowed chair in his honor at the Berkeley School of Theology. We also gave great praise to God for the groundbreaking election of our pastor as the first female second vice president of the Progressive National Baptist Convention. Our online worship, Bible studies, and Sunday school on YouTube, Facebook, and live stream continued to show growth, 17% over 2021. We ended the year in a positive financial position. In 2022, despite the ongoing pandemic, we lived out our theme of strengthening our connections to God, each other, and the world. God continues to be so good to Allen Temple and to her people. We know that God will continue to do exceedingly abundantly, far above all we can ask or think. The best is indeed yet to come. We go forward into 2023 thoroughly equipped for impact. <music>